What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming performance test of Armor Pad 8 by playing few of the most high and heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. We will also monitor whether we are going to face any heating issue or not and how good the battery performance of the device is going to be. But before we start, if you are new to this channel then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. So these are the games we got today here on our Honor Pad 8. Right now the battery percentage is 90. For this testing purpose, we will use the performance mode to get the best performance out of the device. Right now the CPU temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and the battery temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. So first of all, let's start with Injustice 2. So this is the maximum volume and it's Pretty loud for sure. So there was slight lagging. You can see that the graphics quality is quite nice. Sometimes minor lagging is happening. Audio quality is really good. The graphics quality is nicer as well. Let me reduce the volume of it. So most of the time the gameplay is pretty smooth, sometimes minor lagging is happening but most of the time it's quite nice, the graphics quality is good and the gameplay is quite nice for sure and the audio quality is very impressive. So let's go back from here. Now if you have a look on the battery then battery percentage is 89, CPU temperature is 37 degrees Celsius still and the battery temperature is 34 degrees Celsius. Now it's time to play the next game and that's Call of Duty Mobile. So here in the graphic setting of Call of Duty Mobile you can see by default medium is selected for both graphics quality and the frame rate. I can select high frame rate but then the graphic quality is going to the low. I can select high graphics quality as well with medium frame rate. I can also select very high graphics quality with medium frame rate. But if I go to high frame rate, once again, the graphics quality is going back to low. So I will select the combination of very high graphics quality and medium frame rate. And let's see how good the performance of the device is going to be. So the graphics quality is looking good enough. And it's pretty smooth as well, but I'm zooming in. You can see the edges are not that sharp. It's a bit pixelated. It is also because of the reason that we are playing a smartphone game on a tablet. So of course the aspect ratio and the scaling is going to cause a bit of issues. The gameplay is pretty smooth, no frame drops or lagging is happening. Also if you have a look on these walls here, 
you can see they are not super sharp a bit of pixelation and blurriness is there but once again it is more because of the scaling of the game here on a 12 inch long screen if you play the same game on a 6 inch device then it will be way better With the reflection of the light on the gun, the 3D graphics rendering and all of these, they are pretty good. And the fact is also that it's a huge device so playing the game is sometimes a bit difficult moving finger on a huge display The best part is there is no frame drop or lagging is happening. Everything is very smooth. It's just that playing the game on a huge 12 inch display is kind of tough. Enemy contact! Enemy down! 
And as you can see, the gameplay was very smooth most of the time, there was no frame drop, no lagging, everything was perfect. The only thing was the graphic quality is not that great, but still the game was very much playable and we did not face any kind of issue while playing Call of Duty Mobile on Honor Padded. The only thing is that the device itself is pretty huge and it is causing sometimes a bit trouble in moving the finger across the display. So let's go back from here. Let's close the game and now if you have a look on the battery status, so battery percentage is 85, CPU temperature is still 37 degrees Celsius, so I guess it is not showing the correct value but the battery temperature is at 36 degrees Celsius, still everything is under control, the device is totally at normal temperature, not even slight warm sensation on the back panel or anywhere on the body even though it is uh, metal unibody design we got on our honor pad 8 so now it's time to play the next game and that's asphalt 9 here in the graphic setting of asphalt 9 you can see we have selected the high graphics quality the 60 fps mode is not available at all because of the limitation of the hardware so let's play the game and let's see how good the performance of the device is going to be while playing asphalt 9 on honor pad 8 So the graphics quality is not that great and there was slight lagging happening. Once again a bit of lagging is happening and the gameplay is also not very smooth as you can see. The graphics quality is also not so great. The game is playable but again it's not a very smooth experience. So as you can see while playing Asphalt 9 on our Honor Padded, the performance was not that great as it was lagging now and then, the graphics quality is average and the gameplay was not very smooth as well. So let's go back from here, let's have a look on the battery, so battery percentage is 84, battery temperature is still 36 degrees Celsius and CPU is still at 37 degrees Celsius. So now it's time to play the last game for today and that's PUBG Mobile. So here in the graphics setting of PUBG Mobile you can see by default the graphics is selected as smooth and frame rate is at medium. I can select high frame rate with smooth graphics quality 
If I go to balance, then high frame rate option is getting disabled. If I go to HD, you can see this option is not available. So the maximum possible combination of graphics setting is balanced graphics and medium frame rate. Or if you want, you can also play smooth graphics on high frame rate. I'm going to select balanced and medium and let's see how good it's going to be. So here you can see that the graphics quality is once again, but we are getting good amount of details on the body of the character the rest of the things for example if you have a look on the crown it's a bit blurry the same goes with the leaves on the tree the grass the detailing is a bit less as you can see here So if you are a PUBG player, you should be getting the idea about the gaming capability of the device. The gameplay is mostly smooth. As you can see, no frame drops or lagging is happening. It's just that the graphics quality is a bit average, quite basic. And the gameplay is not super smooth, but smooth enough to play it. It's totally playable. No frame drops or lagging is happening. Everything is nice and smooth. 3D graphics rendering is good. For example, if I'm Changing the camera angle, you can see the reflection of the light on the back of the character on the gun. So it's nice and also it's good enough to play the game here. So now I'm just going to leave it here. Let's have a look on the battery status. So after playing all of these games for 40 minutes, the battery percentage moved from 90 to 81. So it's quite impressive for sure because we were playing all of these games for highest possible graphics setting with performance mode enabled and the CPU temperature is still 37. It's not correct for sure. Battery is at 36 degrees Celsius 
and the device is totally at the normal temperature it's exactly same at where we started playing the game so there is no even slightly warm sensation while holding the device even though it comes with a metal unibody so logically it should be a bit warm because the performance mode is enabled as well as the body is made of aluminum but still the device is not even slightly warm so this is quite nice for sure so if you are a casual gamer you will be happy with the performance of the device the honor padded of course it is not suitable for the hardcore gamers because the hardware the snapdragon 680 is not so powerful and because of that most of the high level graphics setting the frame rate possibility are not available for honor padded but if you're a casual gamer who just need an entertainment device on which you can play some games now and then then you will be happy with the performance of honor padded as you can see there is no frame drop or lagging is happening the game plays uh, are very smooth most of the time and the graphics quality is quite playable and good enough considering the hardware and price of the device as well so that's all for now friends if you enjoyed watching this video then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and i'll see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day